Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how to use line charts in JavaFX. So let's get started. First of all, what I've done is I've created this uh, sample JavaFX project in which uh, I have this application package and inside this application package, I have this main.java uh, class in which I am calling this uh, main.fxml file as I always do, right? And then I have uh, this uh, blank main controller dot Java class and I have this main dot fxml file. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open uh, this main dot fxml file using scene builder. And uh, in here, first of all, I'm going to resize the anchor pane. So just select the anchor pane and just resize it. For example, 500 by 500 here. Okay, press enter. And then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the charts here and I'm going to drag and drop a line chart control inside my anchor pane. And let's resize our anchor pane. And now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to controls and I'm going to take a button from here. So when I click this button, it's going to load this chart. So the text of this chart, I'm going to name it as load chart. Okay, so load chart. And uh, I'm going to change the FX ID of this uh, line chart here so go to the code and give some fx id to your line chart for example line chart itself okay and then you have some properties for line chart so go to the properties here and you can see there is a title which you can give for example line chart and press enter and it's going to show this title on the top you can uh, move the title to the bottom or the left or the right but let's uh, you know stick to the top right and you have this uh, legend also if you want to show the legends then you can choose by clicking this uh, checkbox here if you want don't want to uh, show the legends then you can just uncheck this okay and this is the position of the legend uh, where it will be shown okay there are some more properties here which you can uh, you know experiment with so just uh, experiment with these properties and uh, then uh, see how it looks like okay the last property here in this section is x axis so leave it as default okay because we are going to use x axis series for uh, our line chart okay so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the controller to this fxml file so just uh, go to the controller here and select the application dot main controller dot java file right so once everything is done save your code and go to your project and refresh it and then go to main controller dot java class and in here first of all we are going to define this line chart so just write at the rate fxml and then line chart just call the line chart variable and it takes uh, two template argument one is x-axis and other is y-axis okay so if you go to your main.fxml file in your Eclipse IDE, you can see it has uh, two elements here. One is x-axis element, which is category axis by default created by the scene builder. And second is number axis, right? Which is y-axis, okay? So category axis means you can uh, give the first argument here or data type here as string okay and the second is the number axis you can see so number means you can give here number so you can just write number here okay and then uh, your uh, id so we have given the id to this chart as line chart so just take the same uh, name from here and just close it Okay, and now I'm going to create a method for the button click event. So just create a public 
void method so it's going to return void and the name of this method I'm going to name it as btn okay and it's going to perform this action event so just call action event event and inside this button click method first of all what we are going to do is we are going to declare our x, x access series okay so just call x y chart here just call it something like this and then before this template argument we are going to uh, create a series so x y chart dot series and we are going to give the same template argument which we have given for the line chart which is a string and number okay and then name your series for example series itself is equal to new series so just copy the same thing and paste it here and close it okay now you have your series so in this series you can uh, add some data so just call this series variable and then call a method called get data and then we are going to add the data and it's going to take this xy chart data variable so just write new and then take this xy chart from here dot data and data will be of uh, same type so just give these two template arguments here and uh, you can see here it takes the string and the number so you can just give a string here and the number as the second argument so for example uh, we are uh, making uh, some uh, line chart on the basis of some month okay so for example uh, we can just write Jan and for example the earning of uh, January is something so for example 200 okay and in a same way you can add more uh, items to this series okay so we are going to just paste it four times and then we have fab and March and April right and the earnings for example 500 300 and 600 here okay and then once you have created your series then you can uh, add the series to the line chart so just call your uh, line chart and then call a method called get data and then add the series to it so just add this series variable here okay and then semicolon now one last thing which remains is we need to add this function to the fxml file okay so just open your uh, fxml file in scene builder select your button go to the on action uh, category here and choose this button method okay and then save everything and refresh your project from here and then run it and our app is running now so when I click this load chart button it's going to uh, load this kind of a chart right now uh, when I click this load chart again you can see a new uh, line is added and you have uh, two legends here right and then third legend and fourth legend and you can see the legends are increasing one by one right so to solve this problem what we can do here is we can go to our button method and then at the top at the start of our method we can take our line chart and then get data and then uh, clear our chart okay so this is going to clear our chart every time we uh, click the button first and then load the chart so this problem will be gone so once again run your app and once again click load chart and now only one access is there and you can see only one legend here now you can even set the name of the legend using a series so you can just take this series variable and then you can just say set 
name from here and you can give any uh, string variable here for example month pay here okay and save your code and run your app once again and load chart and now you can see uh, it's showing month pay okay now one more thing you may ask here is how you can give the label to uh, your x-axis and y-axis here so let's see how we can give the labels to x-axis and y-axis so what you can do is you can go to your main.fxml file in here you have x-axis and y-axis right so go to your category axis first and in here you can give any label by this attribute called label here okay so label is equal to some name for example my x label for example and same you can do for uh, the y axis so go to your y axis and and with this uh, number axis uh, property you can uh, add this attribute called label once again and say my y label okay save your code and run it once again and load your chart and now you can see on the y uh, axis you can see the y label and uh, on the x axis you can see this label right x axis label so this is called label this is the legend right so legend is different than label label is this one and this is called legend okay so in this way you can use a line chart in javafx i hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now